Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to Electrical Circuits Lesson 2. Uh, we're going to continue from Lesson 1 and go through a few more equations. And before we start that, I thought I would do a bit of a revision on the first lesson, see if you guys still remember it. So here's the question. An electric toy uses a current of 30 amps for 5 seconds. What quantity of electricity flows through the toy? So have a go at this and come back when you're done. So if you guys remember from last lesson, we introduced you to the equation I equals Q over T. Okay, where I is equal to the current in amps and Q is equal to the charge, quantity of charge in coulombs and T is equal to time in seconds. So in this question, okay, the current is 30 amps so I'm going to put I, um, I'm going to put 30 where I is and the time is equal to 5 seconds so I'm going to put 5 where T is and the quantity of electricity means the quantity of charge, how much charge uh, flowed through the toy. So Q is the one we're looking for. So the way we would find that is um, if you guys uh, know a bit of basic mathematics you would know that to solve for Q we would multiply by 5 on both sides. So it'll be 150 is equal to Q divided by 5 times 5 is just Q. So Q is equal to 150 coulombs. And that is the answer. So hopefully you guys remember this from lesson one. Okay, now we're up to the second lesson. So in this lesson we're going to talk about the concept of voltage. So what is voltage? So another word for voltage is potential difference okay and you probably still have no idea okay what the word potential difference um, means so the only way for us to understand that is if I give you some examples okay so the potential difference um, I guess is a way of measuring Um, how much energy is lost across a component. So um, you might be wondering, well, what is energy? Okay, what's energy measured in? So energy, um, so how do we measure this, how much energy is lost across a component? So it's measured in the energy lost is measured in the number of joules of electric potential energy lost per coulomb of charge that passes through the component. So if you guys imagine in this particular circuit there are all of these electrons coming out of the negative terminal okay all of these electrons coming out of it moving in this direction right electrons are coming out of this negative terminal moving in this direction and when it moves through the light bulb okay this is the light bulb when it moves through the light bulb some of the energy um, that 
was used to uh, move the electrons um, is lost as it as the energy is used to power the light bulb so it's probably lost as heat energy okay so the number of joules of energy that is lost per coulomb of charge that passes through the light bulb is the voltage okay so this is the voltage V equals the number of joules of energy that is lost um, for every coulomb of charge that passes through the light bulb so in equation form um, V is equal to W over Q. Okay, so what's W and what's Q? W is the, um, so V is the voltage measured in volts. And the definition is over here. The number of joules of electric potential energy lost per coulomb of charge. Q is the quantity of charge. which is in uh, measured in coulombs and W stands for work which is the energy required to do the work um, is measured in joules okay so another concept that you also need to understand is that in a series circuit Okay, a series circuit, which is a circuit like this one, where the current can only go in one path from the beginning in a loop to the end. Um, we will go through parallel circuits later on, but in this kind of circuit, um, the in a series circuit, the voltage across the components add up to the voltage across the power supply so what that means is um, if this light bulb okay as the coulomb of charge passes through this light bulb let's say the voltage used by this light bulb is six volts now, since this is the only component in this circuit, that means that the power supply must also provide 6 volts. So, let's repeat that. Okay. This light bulb uses 6 joules of energy per coulomb of charge that passes through it so what that means is the power supply okay which is in this case the battery must supply six joules of energy per coulomb of charge so that um, so that they can be consumed by the light bulb okay so you probably still won't understand all this until we do some practical problems so let's give this a go so let's have a look at this question calculate the number of joules of heat energy generated by a resistor connected to the 10 volt power supply when 20 coulombs of charge passes through the resistor so if we draw our circuit we have a power supply and a resistor and the power supply has 10 volts it supplies 10 volts which means 10 it supplies 10 joules of energy per coulomb of charge and we have 20 coulombs flowing through the resistor so 20 coulombs flow through the resistor 20 coulombs of charge 
uh, how much heat energy is generated by the resi resistor. So um, let's write out the equation, which is uh, what was it? V equals W over Q. So W is the energy in joules. Um, so we have V is equal to 10, Q is equal to 20. So that means W must be equal to, so 10 is equal to W over 20. So then W is equal to 10 times 20, which is 200 joules. Okay, hopefully you guys understand this equation. Uh, if not, uh, feel free to post a question in the comments below and either uh, one of the people watching this video or pro perhaps myself if I have time could answer your question. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.